stop me if I'm uh, treading on dangerous uh, ground here, but uh, the big broadcaster here in Cincinnati, J Corps, yes, is taking over uh, your your uh, channel in Rochester. Uh huh. Yeah, we're on a bunch of J Corps uh, stations all over the country. Well, rumor had it at one time that they were going to uh, put on uh, uh, a different show on that 50,000 watt station. You that mean, was a rumor that reached me. You mean an all night show? Yeah, a, a trucking show. Oh, a trucking show. Well, they they might. You never know. But I'll tell you this: we're number one. Well, that's that. You know, with the, the, the you know, I've got the survey for Rochester, and we've been number one for a long time. Yeah, with the stuff you do, I don't know why they would want to change up there. Well, I can tell you about the truckers. And I will. You know, I don't mind discussing this. Um, there are a number of truckers' networks out there. And what the truckers do, first of all, let me tell you about my show. We do not charge radio stations for this program. It's what's called a barter basis. Okay? Right. And that means they get to run their commercials, and we run ours, and everybody's happy, and they don't have to pay us. The majority of syndicated radio programs are marketed that way. The truckers' networks, uh, because of the nature of their programming, which is not necessarily all that popular to the average person, mm -hmm. um, is not of interest to these radio stations except for one thing. They pay up to a up to million dollars a year. So, obviously, if a radio station gets offered a million dollars a year uh, versus a barter show, uh, there is no contest. And if they don't care about their ratings, then they grab the million and run, and I really can't blame them. Well, the story on this one is that uh, the, the uh, J Corps flagship station here in Cincinnati carries it, and I think they would like to establish a network and would like to uh, hook on to a couple of 50,000 waters. Uh, and uh, they've got, they have, or it's pending, uh, you know, the getting of WHAM in Rochester. Right. And uh, it the, might, it the might rumor happen. was that it was going to go on there. And perhaps I'm telling things out of school that no, they, no, don't want cool. that, they don't want to let out yet, you know. No, it's cool. It's cool. Look, if j -Corps does that, it's what they do. Uh, we're on a lot of j -Corps stations uh, around the country. But as I said to you, um, you it's really hard to fight uh, somebody who walks in and plunks down a million bucks. Yeah, or if the company owns it and they say we want to establish uh, our own uh, network. Well, and that's why they would be doing it, for money. Mm -hmm. So, it's, you know, well, it's all, it's it's all money-driven. It's an interesting time with uh, with uh, radio and uh, the uh the various, you know, companies gobbling up uh, lots of radio stations. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure it's uh, it's all bad or all good. They're, it's a two-edged sword. I will tell you this, though. Um, by survey, we've got gazillions more truckers that listen to this show than any of the truckers' networks. Mm -hmm. Period. Well, who knows? Maybe we can uh, talk the... Uh the local j -Corps station and the putting it on here. Uh, uh, could be. It sure would be better than, uh, say, Rush Limbaugh reruns overnight. Well, I like Rush, but, you know, he's uh, Rush does one thing and we do another, and this one fits what is on at night, Yep. and Rush fits what's on during the day. Thanks, Art. Thank you. Take care, sir. I'm going to prove something to you, and what I told, told that caller... Uh, there are a lot of truckers' networks out there right now, so-called truckers' networks. And they somehow think they cater to truckers. You know, they play some country and western music, and I guess they talk about traffic jams. <laughs> I don't know what the truckers' networks do, frankly. But for a long time, I've known that we have uh, gazillions of truckers listening. So I'm going to ask why I do this, I don't know, but I, I want to prove a point. So, for the next 30 minutes, I want everybody out there to hang up. Stop calling. On all lines, stop calling. That means on the first-time caller line, the wild card line, the international line, the east of the Rockies line, the west of the Rockies line, hang up. Okay? 
and I want to open all my lines for truckers, only for truckers. I want to prove a point. You should see I get hundreds, thousands of letters and, and email from truckers, and there is no question about it. And what I would like is the view of truckers. Uh, in other words, do you guys sit out there and listen to the truckers network because you're a trucker? Or do you listen to this program because of the subject material? I really would like to know. So, as usual, I will just ask, would everybody else please hang up? Anyway, they've been asking me to do this for a long time. So all my lines, and I'll give out the numbers, are open for the next 35 minutes only for truckers. And I would like to get your comments, because what that caller said is true. These truckers networks are going around and sucking up these big 50,000-watt nighttime stations so they can specifically program to truckers. And though I haven't done a lot of listening, I believe that uh, the primary content of the programming is, I guess, country music, because they figure country, uh, truckers like country, which is somewhat true, and whatever else they do. So I'm going to close all my lines for everybody, every normal person out there, and I'm hereby opening my lines only to truckers, and I'm going to ask you guys what you listen to and what you know about out there. And let the affiliates, the radio stations out there, sit and listen. And maybe some of the programmers out there will realize as they hear this, which I know they're going to, that programming specifically designed for a trucker is not necessarily what a trucker listens to, you know? I mean, they've got a radio dial, they tune across, they can listen to anything. So, that's it for the next 35 minutes. If you're not a trucker, hang up and let the truckers get through. And what I'm going to do is, I'm about to prove a point. Truckers only. Let's see if we can do it, okay? West of the Rockies, you're on the air. Hello. Yeah, hi, Art. Hello, are you a trucker? Yes, I am. I'm off tonight. I'm not in my truck. All right. Uh, I don't know anybody that doesn't listen to you, to be honest with you. Um, what about all these truckers' networks? Oh, so, uh, like, the TRM. Uh, you know, some of the old fogies listen to that stuff. But, uh, um, I'm, you know, I run down the road at night, and, and I, uh, somebody hollers on the CB and says, did you hear what he just said? And they're always talking about, you know, uh, whoever you have, have on tonight. Right. I'm trying to prove a point, and you're really helping me. I, I appreciate it, sir. Thank you for the next 30 minutes, truckers only. From the high desert, this is CBC. Uh, you know, I hear a lot of these trucker shows begging for calls. Well, I'm going to prove a point to you right now. Truckers only for the next half hour. All telephone numbers. Everybody else, hang up. Truckers talk to each other. They've got CB. They've got other communication devices. They sit at truck stops. They know what they listen to. So you watch, and you listen carefully, because we're about to prove a point. First time caller line, you're on the air. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Where are you? Uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, somewhere, huh? Yeah, south of Oklahoma City. All right. Well, what do you know about what truckers listen to? <laughs> I don't like the stereotype, don't fit it, don't listen to country crap. <laughs> well, now I, I wouldn't say country crap. Well, I would. <laughs> uh, well, that's all right. They, they give us tapes to listen to with the company. that I've got three trucks. Most of my drivers listen to you. We talk about it when we're together. And uh, we turn the CB off and listen to you when we're alone most of the time. And I don't know. I feel more informed that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friend. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, you're beginning to get the idea. Wildcard Line, you're on the air. Good morning. Well, good morning, Art Bell. Hi. Where are you? Uh, this is Lonnie in Klamath Falls, Oregon. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, Art, I just got one thing, to, uh, well, several things, but one thing in particular. Um, truckers are probably one of the most individualistic people in the world. You bet they are. And to try to stereotype us as uh, country and western uh, uh, music lovers, you know, that's ridiculous, for one. 
Um, if anything, I think uh, every probably every driver has their own individual network. Um, just real quick, uh, from here to Klamath Falls uh, to Portland, I pick you up on about four different stations on the back roads I have to take. Right. Um, north of Klamath, I, I, I pick you up on KGO here in Klamath Falls. Uh, I pick up a station out of Las Vegas for a while. Right, KXNT. And the station out of Portland. I can't remember the call letters, though. Uh, KEX. And then when I'm up against Hood and I can't get the signal, I pick up Como out of Seattle. Como, 1000, yes, sure. And, uh, all, all right, right the, the only point I was trying to prove is that truckers are not stereotyped, and because you present something called a trucker's network, doesn't automatically mean tr truckers are going to go and listen to it. Oh, that's ridiculous. You know, most of these people that put these, uh, these networks together are... Uh, <clears throat> Ex truckers probably themselves, and um, you know they're from a different age. Uh, most of your truck stops are owned by ex truckers who are you know sure in their sixties and seventies, and this is what they did. And it's just totally different uh, today. I, I appreciate the input, sir. Thank you. East of the Rockies, somewhere or another, you're on the air. Hi. Hello. Hello there. Yep, I'm out. Uh, I'm on uh, I seventy five south of. Uh, about the 127 mile marker headed for Columbus, Ohio. Yes, sir. And I listen to you, Art, <laughs> every night. Well, do you do you get a sense from CB or at truck stops of what people listen to? Oh yeah, we were just talking about you tonight at the terminal about all the things you had on the air, and it's real interesting. I'll tell you, we really feel sorry for the people from Desert Storm. We really hope that uh, something gets done there. And uh, that the President of the United States here recognizes that these guys were given their lives and uh, their families didn't bargain for this. And that uh, hopefully this thing gets straightened out and we get these guys on the right track. I hope so. Listen, what is your attitude about these so-called truckers' networks? Well, I think, uh, I think there is uh, a lot of people who listen to you, a lot of truckers. You know, they, they really look for something that uh, piques their interest and... Uh, you do a heck of a job. Um, I'm not a conservative, but I'll tell you something. I really respect you because uh, you're pretty darn fair, and uh, that's what I'm looking for. You know, I'm just looking for somebody who piques my interest and someone who's fair because uh, just bashing somebody from the other side is no good, you know. I know. I, I appreciate your call, sir. Thank you. And what I'm trying to prove here is that truckers are not a class unto themselves in the sense that they can be programmed to, and they will automatically go to the Truckers Network, whatever it is. West of the Rockies, you're on the air. Hello. Yes, I call him from Jubis Truck Stop in Portland. Yes, sir. Uh, I've listened to you since uh, last November. I heard about you at a truck stop, and I've uh, you're my late night. I, I switch off, to turn off the CB, and listen to you until you go off in the morning. Gee. Even the CB goes off. That's right. Yikes. <laughs> well, um, truckers are not exactly stereotyped anymore, are they? In other words, because you put on a trucker's network doesn't mean that the truckers all listen to it, huh? No. Uh, you get tired of the music. At, uh, it, the music gets to the point where you get sleepy. But uh, I don't have that trouble listening to you. All right, my friend. Thank you very, very much, and I, I appreciate the uh, support. Wildcard Line, you're on the air. Good morning. Hello, my old friend. Hi. I used to listen to you all the time when I was out on the road. You did, huh? Yeah, I drove for 14 years over the road. Now I'm a night dispatcher for a trucking company. Oh, you are? Yeah. Now, the main reason that, that uh, I listen to you is that it kept my mind active. And late at night when I'm rolling down the road and I listen to country music or rock music, any type of music, really. It's a, a mood depressor. It either depresses you and puts you to sleep, or you just keep hearing the same thing and you get bored. But on your show, everything was all new. It was uh, exciting. It got your mind thinking. And the time passes quickly. Yes, it does. Uh -huh. yes, I, I hear you. When I've, uh, I've done a lot of cross-country uh, driving, and talk radio has kept me company, so I know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just was. that, you know, these, these truckers' networks are trying to sell the broadcasting industry on the fact that because they put a trucker's network on, that's what the truckers are going to listen to. No. I know. The truckers <laughs> listen to, to basically anything, but at night, uh, the majority of them that I know of all listen to talk shows. And then at night, I have a satellite system that I can talk to trucks with, and we're always communicating back about your show. I appreciate the call, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, east of the Rockies, you're on the air. Hi. Hello, Lord. How you doing? I'm doing fine, sir. Where are you? I'm in my rig right now. Uh, I work for the post office in Tampa, and uh, I listen to your show every night. 
in Tampa, Florida? Yeah. Okay, um, that's that's very interesting. Way down there, huh? Yeah, I'm calling on a cell phone in my rig right now. I can tell. Well, what what is your attitude about these so-called trucker networks? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm listening to you on AM 570. Uh, I uh, don't listen to trucker networks. I don't like country. I'm a rock and roller. Actually, and, I am, uh, too. I, I just love your show because of the subject matter. Uh, you know, Mel's Hole and all that, and uh, Frank Bell and the people you have on there, it's just a good show. It's a great show. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Uh, West of the Rockies, you're on the air. Good morning. Oh, is it better now? I can barely hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this better? Um, a little bit. Are you a trucker? Yes, I am. Where are you? I am calling from a payphone in uh, Utah here. Just all... Just outside of Parowan, Utah. Okay. Uh, well, what about you? Um, obviously, you're listening to this program now, but what is your attitude about the truckers' networks, so-called? Uh, I've been on here for two years, and I've only listened to it once. Uh, I don't really care for it at all. Uh, I don't like the music or anything. Uh, only complaint that I have about your show is when I'm going down the road, I usually have to go through two or three stations to keep the... <laughs> Keep listening to your show. I love your show. <laughs> I thank you. Thank you very much. I'm just simply trying to uh, prove a point. Thank you very much for making the call. First time caller line, you're on the air. Hi. Hi, this is John from Highland, California. And Hello. I'm a trucker. Yes, hi, John. And uh, I listen to your show every night at home and at on, out on the road. That is when I can find it. All I need to do is get a list of where your stations are. But, yeah. Well, by the way, we do have a full and complete list on our website. If you're ever able to get up there, you can print it out and find out every station across the country. That'd be great. All right, my friend, thank you. East of the Rockies, you're on the air. Hi. Hello there. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir, turn your radio off. Okay, it's off. Okay, where are you? Okay, I'm down here just north of Wichita, Kansas. Yes, sir. And I'll tell you. Uh, I'd rather listen to Eaton any of the truckers networks because well, I mean like the other the other driver said, it's uh it keeps your mind active, it keeps you thinking. Well, uh what do you hear from other truckers? I'm sure you must talk to other people about what they listen to. Oh I do. Uh, uh I try to convert them over to listening to you. Because uh I talk to them about you and they say, Well that's that sounds pretty interesting. It's better than music and they'll listen. All right, my friend, thank you from out in the middle of the, that's Heartland Country. On my international line, you're on the air. Good morning. Hi, Art. Sounds like it's unanimous. Uh, where are you? I'm in Canada, Alberta, Canada. Uh, are you a trucker? Part-time, yeah. Uh, so you listen when you're on the road? Yes. Yeah, I drive a snowcat out to the wilderness and then hop in that and, and uh, do my thing. I was actually out there when you played your Yeti yell, and you're right. <laughs> You don't want to be in the middle of nowhere. No, you don't. Thank you. Wild card line, you're on the air. Hi. Hi, this is Joe, and uh, I had to turn down the radio. Hi, Joe. Just want to say that the uh, reason that I listen to the show is because there's no, it's an uppity show. Nobody wants to listen to this crap and this politics about everybody, you know, and sad things and, and people putting everybody down. I like to listen to people that are talking about positive things like Gil Gross and and you and uh, Bruce Williams and things that make you happy. And the show keeps me interesting, and for all the other truck drivers, uh, I'd just like to say that. <laughs> all right. We'll get back to more truckers in a moment. We're going to do that through the top of the hour. All right. I'm just trying to prove a point, and I think I'm doing it very well. Let me continue through the top of the hour. First time caller line, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, Art. Hi. Hi, from a fellow ham and a trucker. All right. I just want to let you know, uh, me and a bunch of other trucker-type hands, I, I'm in Loudoun, Tennessee. My name is Nick, and I run uh, Virginia and the Carolinas, Tennessee. Yes, sir. But there's a bunch of us get together on a pretty good coverage repeater in the middle of the night, uh, oh, about a half a dozen of us, sometimes more or less. And uh, we listen to you, and during the breaks, we talk to each other on two meters and talk about what's going on. So we really enjoy your show. Well, what I'm trying to do is to... to uh, Talk to the broadcasters, in a sense, and let them hear from you guys, because I know we've got more truckers listening than these so-called truckers' networks. Yeah, and they're, be they're, they're kind of stale. You know, I mean, Charlie Douglas's road gang and stuff like that. I've been on the road off and on for about 20, 20 years or so. Of course, I don't fit the stereotype anyway. I'm 
I don't wear Tony Lama boots and don't don't have a chain drive wallet, but uh, 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 I'm a rock and roller too. But the truckers and that's I guess are okay if you want to hear a weather forecast in Southwest Missouri when you're in, in Eastern Tennessee. Mm. But uh, no, I really enjoy your show, and like I said, uh, there, there's there's a bunch of us out here, and you know we, uh, you're you're the topic of conversation during the break. I right, thank you, my friend. Thank you very much for the call. First time caller line, you're on the air. Hi. Hey Art. Hey. John in Colorado. How, how are you doing, John? Great, great. Just making another run, doing it five nights a week. Yes, sir. Well, I just got to say, uh, we listen to you all, our whole company does. Uh, we're all across the nation, but uh, uh, we never listen to the other station, the trucker station. So you guys are not glued to the truckers network, so-called? What that? We're not glued to what? The truckers network, so-called. No, 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 no. Um, there's nothing on there that will keep you awake, at least with your... Uh, your show, you know, we have something to think about, keep us awake all night, uh, get us to our terminals. I appreciate the call, my friend. Thank you. And uh, you truckers might call the broadcasters, the stations, you know, that you listen to, and let them know what I'm proving right now. Wildcard Line, you're on the air. Hi. Hello, Art. Yes, sir. Mike in Wyoming tonight. Hi, Mike. A lot better than the trucking shows, I've got to <laughs> tell you, every night. Well, I've been telling people this for a long time, but I thought after the call I had, I'd finally take about a half hour and try to prove it. East of the Rockies, you're on the air. Hello. Hey, I'm Bill. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's Roger. Call from Nebraska. Nebraska, all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I had to turn the CB down. All right. Yeah, you just still calling on truckers there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can, tell, I can tell you're in a truck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I had to turn everything off. I've been listening well, for about three, four years now. I've been out here for nine, just driving at night. But you got a good show there. Well, would you, would you think that we can get to more truckers uh, right here, or do you think the truckers network uh, get them? Oh, right here. I don't even know truck truckers network. You guys ever heard it? <laughs> All right. I appreciate your call. Thank you. West of the Rockies, you're on the air. Hello. No, you're not. Wildcard Line, you're on the air. Good morning. How you doing, Art? I'm all right. Where are you? Uh, I'm almost in Charlotte, North Carolina. I got to deliver load this morning. Yep. Uh, we, you know, I came from all the way from Seattle with this load, and I'm here in Charlotte, and I've listened to you every night, uh, you know, the whole trip. And the the trucking shows that they're talking about, Yes. You know, I just heard a caller call and say they're born. They are born. And they've got them. They got them for a reason. They're trying to get you know news out and stuff, but it's not necessary. And and uh, all this money, the millions of dollars you're saying they're giving to these radio stations, they ought to put it towards a lobby group. That's what they're wanting to do is try to get things done for the trucking industry. Right. If they would put these millions of dollars towards uh, lobby groups, you know, in Congress and try to help get stuff done, it'd be a better purpose. And they'll, they, let them go ahead and do it. They'll, they'll see that their ratings drop, and just like we can't ignore, D, you know, DOT out here on the road, a radio station can't ignore ratings. And when their ratings totally drop, you know they're going to turn around and change. Uh, you are exactly right, my friend. Thank you. But of course, temporarily, you know, they get very attracted by the money, and they think that that's what the truckers are listening to because they call it a truckers network. They think that's what truckers are listening to. Well. I could have taken a million more, but I thought I'd give you 30 minutes of a, an example of what the truckers are listening to. So, guys and gals, thank you. And if you uh, listen to a station, take a minute, call them up, and let them know what you really listen to. Now, here again, Art Bell. All right, we're open for anything. Open lines once again. Thank you, everybody. Just wanted to prove a point. That's all. I've been hearing about this for years, you know, truckers networks. Like, you start a truckers network and automatically the truckers come, sort of like uh, in Field of Dreams. Build it and they will come. Well, it's not that way. You know, truckers are no different than anybody else, and they like interesting talk radio the same as anybody else does. 